Hi, my name is Rebecca Barthelme, and I am recording my first career profile for Family 150. Um, the career that I have chosen to do is a family support specialist. Uh, this, for this job, the things that you would commonly be doing is you would work very closely with um, social workers or CPS or sometimes just welfare recipients, and you often go into the home of these families that you're supposed to help and you'll assess the needs of the parents, of the children, um, and help to provide them with the necessary skills that they need to best function and improve their lifestyle. Um, this job, because you are dealing with typically high-risk families, it does it require some ability to remain calm and just unaffected by the situation because it's it is somewhat of a stressful situation for some people and it requires in-home visits and a lot of interactions with people from all different backgrounds um, this job you can be employed with a variety of different organizations sometimes it's large ones sometimes it's small ones sometimes it's court assigned sometimes it's you know it's dealing with social workers, with foster care, it just, it, it very much varies. Um, de also, depending on where you have that employment, your benefits will vary. Um, if you're dealing with a, a larger organization, like one that I came across, which is from my state that I live in, in Arizona, it's called Southwest Human Development, and it's a larger organization, and with them, um, I found that they do offer all health benefits, they have dental, they have paid time off, they have vacation, they have 401ks. Um, so it seems like if you're with a larger, more established organization, you probably will have a lot of benefits, but I didn't come across any requirement for those benefits to be offered. So I think it really just depends on where you have your job. Um, for the education requirements, this type of career usually involves a, a bachelor's in social work or in um, a similar area of interest. It's also very beneficial if you would like to excel in the career to go ahead and get your master's, but it's not required. Um, and it's also advisable to have some experience in dealing with social services or in parents and children that have difficult situations. So whether it's through an internship or through volunteer work, it's very advisable to have some experience in that. Um, it also, depending on where you live, it can be very beneficial to be bilingual. Like I'm, like I said, I'm from Arizona, so everything that I came across in my research for this location, it, they they said it's very very helpful to be Spanish English bilingual, and um, it's also beneficial to just to have a thorough knowledge of what community resources would be available to the families that you're trying to help, as well as what policies would apply to those areas. Um, as for the salary, it also just really varies depending on your location. Um, what I came across was that it can start at the lower end of twenty-four thousand annually and go up to probably about fifty-four thousand. So it is a, a span, and it probably just differs depending on your area. Um, I personally don't know anybody that has this career, but it sounds like something that would be very interesting to go into and would really apply to um, marriage and family studies. So I'm glad that I was able to find this information for you. Thank you for watching. Bye.